Okay, people, here's the situation in this ball game we have here. Padres currently hold a 9-3 lead in the ninth. However, the Rangers have loaded the bases with no doubt. We had a walk, followed by a double, followed by another walk. There's our box score, so you see the scores of the game here. It was a tight game up until the 7th, or up until the, up until the 8th and 9th, and the Padres busted it wide open. Our player stats, as you can see. Quite a good, quite a lot of work from Tony Gwynn as he's driven in five RBIs today. Triple and two home runs. And there's also been a home run by Phil Nevin. A couple triples. One, of course, by Tony. Heck, he's done everything but hit a double for the cycle. So, Tony's had a hell of a day. He's had a three for five day, three runs scored, and five RBIs. Sterling Hitchcock went six and two thirds innings. Gave up the eight runs, three and runs, and he fanned twelve. And then you have Will Canane. He pitched a good first. He pitched. Uh, he pitched a decent thing, you know. He. Had, I don't believe Hitchcock can get the victory now. But anyway, Will Canane came in. Gave up a couple hits. And he walked a few, fanned a few. So he loaded the base with nobody out here in the ninth. And with Padres, so who you call on? Why, who else but Trevor Hoffman? As they say in the Padres games, it's Trevor time! So, obviously, Hell's Wells won't play here, but just picture it in your head. Because we got Trevor time here in Texas. Well, they'll go to the bullpen and bring... Now, pitching with San Diego Padres, number 51, Trevor Hoffman. All right, Trev, you got Pud Rodriguez at your first, uh, first order of business here in the ninth. Trevor hit 90 show on that radar gun. He won to put dirty guess. Fastball. 94. Pudge takes it. Oh, two offering from Hoffman to Pudge. Swing it as he struck him out. 93 miles an hour. And he got the veteran left fielder, Rusty Greer. Rusty Three for four today. Trevor's gotten one man. Base is still loaded. The runner. Runner's going. But I guess they realized the base were loaded, so it's full already. Bases remain there. They won one to Greer. No one to Rusty. Deep fly ball. Deep fly to left. to left. Racing back, 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 back. He can't get it. The throw to the one plate. runs in. Had to hold him up. Ball gets away. Here comes another run. He's in there. Two runs Riven. score. It's now 9 to 5. Now batting, Rafael Palmero. Of course, the ones are not charged to Trevor, they're charged to Mr. Canane. So, yeah, Trevor's not completely dominant as Rafael Palmero stands in. Now, a 9 to 5 ball game. Pitch to Rafi. Line drive. Line to center. To center. He He's got it. The to the Two down, the runner will tag and score. It's now 9 to 6. Run will be going to third. That's a big they mistake. They got him caught, caught in the rundown. He goes to third. He is in there. One run scored. Now up the center fielder. Center fielder Ruben Mateo. 9 6, 2 out to the ninth. Tying run is, I believe, in the on deck circle. So, yeah, it's not completely a dominant in Trevor time, but hey, it's still Trevor time here in Texas. What do you expect Trevor to do when he comes in with the bases loaded and nobody out in the ninth? Can't expect him to be perfect. That's just asking almost too much of Trevor. Fastball. I want to. Swung on and miss. Rangers now to their last strike. Before we show that counterpoint pitch, let's look at the player's stats one more time. And see, the Rangers had quite a few hits today. Rusty Grew actually went four for five with four of the team's six RBIs. <clears throat> of course, there was a lot of strikeouts among the Rangers. But still, I find it amazing that <clears throat> the late Tony Gwynn did most of the names of the Padres. How about that? Rivera went 0 for 3. Ben Davis went 1 for 4. For the Rangers, I see Lee Salcea, Frank Conoanato. A lot of names you guys probably don't remember because this is back from 2001. So, anyway, the 0-2 to Ruben Mateo, runner to third, two outs in the ninth. 
Let's finish it. That's he struck him out! That's your ball game! Padres win it by a score of 9 to 6. It is indeed Trevor time down here in Texas. Ah, player of the game is actually Phil Nevin. Ah, uh, they give it to Phil Nevin instead of, uh, instead of Tony? That's a shock. Phil well, Nevin goes out for five, three doubles, and over two runs scored in two RBIs. Rangers left eight men on base. Padres left seven. There's our final box score. As you can see. Teo fans for the third time. Hat trick. Padres, as you can see there, they hit 452 as a team. I would have given the player the game to, uh, to Tony, to be honest. And if Canadian gets the win, Trevor will save. Those are, of course, going to recount. But anyways, that was Trevor time in Texas for this short little all star baseball 2001 video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to please give it a like and subscribe to see more content on the channel. We're on the route to 1500 subscribers, so please subscribe to help us get there. And if you have any comment, if you have any video game requests, be sure to leave them in the comments of this video or my Twitter feed, Transit25. So any any chance you can get to help me get 1500 subscribers will be most will be greatly appreciated. Until then, peace for now.